Hi, my name is Joy McDonough, and I'm here to show you how to cut and sew a totally comfortable pair of lounge pants using this pattern from Simplicity number 8022. And in this pattern, you only need one piece to sew the entire pair of pants. And within the pattern, you get sizes from an extra small for a children all the way up to an adult's extra large. So there's such a variety in here, so many things that you can make, and it's so much fun. Choose your favorite fabric, then get matching thread and make a bobbin. A sewing needle is optional. You can use pins or clips. You will also need a soft measuring tape, one inch wide elastic. The length of the elastic is your waist measurement plus one inch. A sewing ruler is really handy, along with good fabric scissors and twill tape or rick rack for embellishing. This is what our one pattern piece looks like. It's kind of big and it's a little bit wide. So we need to check the cutting sheet in order to see how to lay this out on the fabric. Now all the instructions that you need are in the guide sheet. You have a section that will tell you exactly how to lay out your fabric. Now it's time to start cutting. Press the pattern before you start. Pin the pattern to the fabric. Cut around the pattern. Cut all of the marking notches. Here we begin sewing. With right sides together, pin or clip front to back at inner leg seams. Notice that the inseam will not line up. That is fine. You do not need to line those up at this time. When you sew the inner leg seam, begin and end with a back tack stitch. Press the seams open. Here, we want to slip one pant leg inside the other so that the right sides are facing each other. But first, we must turn one leg to the right side. Now slide one leg inside the other, matching up the hems of the leg and the inseam of the pant at the notches. Pin the two pieces together at the notches and the seam. Double check to make sure that the notches are matching perfectly. One notch pair should be three, this is the back, and the other pair should be two, that is the front. Now that everything is matched, we are ready to go off to the sewing machine to start to sew the pant legs together. Begin sewing by doing a couple of back stitches and then sew with a 5 8 inch seam allowance. As you approach the curves, take your time, lift the presser foot, leaving the needle in the down position to pivot the fabric smoothly through the curves. Remember to back tack at the end. To reinforce the seam, stitch over the first layer of stitching. Now it's time to turn out both legs of the pants. See how they form a pair? Next we will form the waist casing. The pants need to be right side out for this step, so let's turn them around. Each seam must be pressed. This is a quick press for each side. Using your handy sewing ruler, press under a quarter inch on the raw edge. Press the fold in place. Move the ruler to the one and a quarter inch mark and fold the upper edge down. Use the ruler as a guide. Once it is all pressed, we will go back to the sewing machine. A blind stitch presser foot makes this next step a little easier. You will leave an opening for the elastic in the casing. Start sewing just after the back seam. Remember to back stitch at the beginning of your stitching. As you come back around to the beginning, remember to stop before you reach the previous stitches and do a few back tack stitches to secure the seam. See how we have formed an opening for the elastic? The next step is to put in the elastic. The length of the elastic should be the waist measurement plus one inch. Attach a safety pin at the end of the elastic, then thread it through the casing. Once you have brought the elastic all the way through the casing, spread the fabric evenly over the elastic. This is the perfect time to try on the pants and adjust the elastic to fit. 
To sew the waist elastic together, you must remove the safety pin first. Stitch a rectangle and then an X inside the rectangle. You will need to leave the needle in the down position and pivot frequently in order to create this shape. This is how your sewing should look when you are done. Then sew the waist casing closed. You now have a very nice waist on your pants. To keep the elastic from rolling, stitch through all thicknesses at the seams. To form the hem at the bottom of the legs, start by measuring one quarter inch fold from the raw edge and press. You will use a one inch mark for the hem, turn the hem, check the measurement, and then press in place. Sew the leg hem the same way you did the casing. This time you will not leave any openings. As you come back around to the start, overlap a few stitches to secure. Make sure you have clipped all of your threads and take a look at the pretty hem you have made. Now for the final touch, add a little twill tape or rickrack. Then tie the ends into a cute little bow. You can hand stitch if you want a little more security. Follow us on Facebook, check us out on Instagram, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.